Hey everyone, it's Elise from Blossom Elise Illustration and today I'm going to be showing you a really simple tutorial on how to use watercolour in a pan. So I'm going to be using these Winsor & Newton ones and I'm also going to be using the disc stack here. I think it's a Koinor, if that's how I said it correctly. I'll leave all the links down below for you. So I'm going to be using these and just show you how I start. How I start. So I'm going to be grabbing my water, how I put it onto the pan, and basically just where to start. Uh, it's really it's going to be aimed towards people who are starting out who want to get into watercolor but don't even know where to start. So this one's for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to use things in a pan. So this is my Winsor & Newton watercolor Cotman set. I've got 300 GSM watercolor paper in medium, my Scepter Gold 6 paintbrush, uh, my little mason jar of water, this is my Koinor um, watercolor pan, and just my paper towel. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to show you how when we're using pans, artists have this mess. And it's not actually a mess because all these colors are, can be used again. So once they've dried, or even while they're still wet, you can use them again. It's the same for this one. So it's similar to using, say, a little pan and having your tubes that you mix on here. Instead, we mix it all on the palette. So grabbing our water, we're going to grab just the tiniest bit of this one. Sometimes a nice idea with the color wheels to make a piece of paper like this because it's going to give you a reference point of which color is which. I'm actually going to swap to a different color pan because this one is a little bit hard to see. So with these, now you can see I've put a little bit of water and I actually recommend putting a bit of water in each one, just a little droplet so the top of the pans are wet. Now don't worry about ruining them because it's not going to ruin them. You're just going to make like a little pot of the pigment kind of thing. Um, so it's the same thing here. If we want to grab this orange, we can either put it straight on our paper and then grabbing a little bit of the yellow in the middle, putting it straight on our paper, and grabbing a little bit of a red and putting it straight on our paper and then grabbing a clean brush, dabbing it so it's not too much water on there, but just bringing the colors in. So when I'm using the pans, I tend to do a lot of my mixing of the colors on the paper. But with these, what you can do is bring the colors out onto the sides here. And same with this one, bringing the color out onto the side here. So what you're doing is you're mixing the color in here so that you have it for when you want to use it next. So you can go yellow, and then you've got your orange, and then you've got your mixed in color. Same for your two greens. Pull this one out to the side. Pull this one out to the side. You've got your green. I'll show you. You've got your other green. Actually, it's got a bit of orange in it. You've got your other green. And then you've got this green that we made here. So these are really pretty because they're already pretty colors, as you can see. It's a little bit easier in color sense. So if you're not very good at colors, then sometimes the pots can be easier to use in the tubes. But in terms of getting your head around the way that watercolors wax, the tubes can be a little bit easier in the pans. Now I'm going to move on to this one. So this is the Winsor & Newton one. I'm going to do the same thing here. You can see here, I've actually put the colors of my pots on here. So I use both. So let's grab the red. I'm going to do the same. I'm actually just going to wet the tops of these. So they're kind of saturated. But make sure you're washing your brush in between each one. So I'm wetting the top so they've got a nice even coat of water. See if I can show you that there. Now can you see how the tops of them are all wet in comparison? These ones are all wet to these ones. So they've got a surface where we can just dab our paintbrush straight in. At this point, I would probably clean my water. Just get some fresh water because I want to be using the reds and yellows and we don't want to be mixing it with the green. Okay, so I've got my fresh water here. Cleaning my brush, dabbing up. You can see every time I'm always dabbing because I don't want my brush to be saturated with water unless I want to put heaps of water on the paper and I don't want my paper to buckle. So by dabbing it off, I'm keeping my brush damp but I am also have a bit of water on it. So let's say here, 
you've got a blue that you want to use but you've also got a red. So what if you want to make a purple? Now this is just the primary colors. So it's a little bit harder to use than one of these. Um, I'll show you how I grab the purple. So I'm gonna grab this blue here. Now I'm wetting the top. Washing that out. I'm wetting the top of this one. Now you can see it's got a bit of a hole so I'm actually mixing it to create like a paint color. Now I'm drying my brush. And I'm grabbing this blue and I'm going to put it about here. So I'm just going to pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. So I'm just basically painting the tray with water. Picking it up, putting it down. Now I'm rinsing my brush, dabbing it off again. And we're getting this pot of water, uh, red. So we're going to put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Do that a few times. We've got this, rinsing our brush again. And what we can do now with a bit of tiny, tiny, tiny bit of water on our brush is bring the colors in together. And just do it as much as you want the color to look like. So we're gonna make a bit of more of a blue purple here. It's not gonna look like a lot of paint, but it's gonna be a lot that we can use. And just mixing the red in here. So bringing more blue in, bringing a bit more red in, and just mixing them until it's the purple kind of color that you want. Now I would usually do this on a flat surface like here, but for the purpose of this I'm just showing you on the round surface. Now I'm going to show you the colors, so I'm going to grab the red, rinsing that, I'm going to grab the blue, rinsing that, now I'm going to grab the purple that we made. And you can see I've only grabbed the tiniest bit, but there's still so much there that you can use. You can make this stronger now by bringing in the red over here, just dabbing the straight pigmentation on, rinsing the brush, dabbing the blue pigmentation on, rinsing the brush, bringing it in. So if that purple was not the kind of color that you wanted, now you can bring it in. And there you have it. That's kind of how to use the pens. I hope you liked that little mini tutorial and that it was a little bit helpful. Um, soon we're going to be getting into the more advanced stuff and I'm really excited to show you proper watercolour techniques and what to do next. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my later tutorials. We're going to be getting more advanced, more techniques, uh, some walkthroughs of kind of paint along with me so we're going to be starting from scratch after we've learned all the basics and learn how to paint a full illustration so I'm really excited for that. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you liked this one, if you want to see more like it, if you have any hints, comments, any kind of ideas or things that you might want to see in the future don't forget to leave me a little comment below and see you next time.